The way to understand the modes, first of all, is to understand those numbers, right? So it comes in stages, it comes in steps. You're playing a song, you know the root note. That's where it starts off with. You know the root note, figure out what key you're in to go to identify the scale. So I'm in A. I'm in A major. That's the Ionian mode. Perfect. All right. So in the song, it goes from one to four. What key? What note is that? That goes to four. That goes to D, which is the fourth mode. Okay. So just name the nodes. Name the nodes. Name the modes. Put a number with the modes, basically. All right. So the fourth mode. I don't even think about the name of the mode. Like it's it, sometimes it get, gets confusing. But the fourth one is Lydian, right? But just actually know what that is, right? The fourth mode is the major scale with a sharp four. So if I was playing a bass line or a line or a chord or anything like that to be able to improvise or solo over, I understand that the, I'm on the four now, which is the Lydian scale, which is the Lydian mode, which is the four chord, and which is the scale that I can solo over or use as a reference. Same thing goes with the six. The sixth mode is Aeolian. So I just use that note to start the Aeolian scale, right? The F sharp Aeolian scale. We got da 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 da, which is the minor scale. Super important for you to understand and memorize these modes as well. So you can just kind of play them, right? So I'll do the same thing and I'll just mess around with it, right? So we got Ionian, right? Four. Play the mode along with that. Same Lydian mode. I want to go back to the one. showing you just I wouldn't play it like that but I'm just experimenting what you can do and how you create different lines from the modes that you're starting on it's still all the same scale it's just a matter of what you're starting the mode on but with chords it becomes super important because that's your root note that's your start like that's your tonic note that you have to build the chord off of but you st you're still in that same key all right so once you understand that concept, you can move to any scale or any number or any, you know, uh, any progression and any chord tone, and you'll be able to identify where it is as far as what scale. So when I think about modes, I think about the modes as a chord. I think about the modes as an arpeggio. I think about the modes as a triad. I think about the modes as a scale. I think about the modes as a reference to what I can play. So. That was just a, a song in A major. Yeah, song in A major and playing from the one, the four, the six, and the five. All the elements that I just used, I had to know where these notes were, right? In the key of A, I'm already thinking in my head, okay, four is D, okay, six is F sharp, okay, five is E, okay, two is B. You know, if I, if I had to play a two, I know two is B, I know three is C sharp. You know, you know what I mean? Like, so being able to memorize these modes and memorize the scale, the numbers, all I'm doing is just putting a number with the scale degree, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp. You see what I'm saying? So I'm just putting a name with the note um, or a number with the note.